Emily, our launch finally, it's here. It's here. And, mm -hmm. you know, as we do every season, we tell a story, the story of, of how our collection came to be. And this story in particular is one for the books. Just so everyone knows, Emily and I went to Milan right before the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, we were there for Fashion Week. We went there to find inspiration. It was a dream to go to Mecham, to, to um, just get inspired so that we could bring home all of that inspiration and pour it into, into our collection. We're super excited to share with you that. And because when we landed literally the day do you remember that emily yes. we landed we were taking off as they were shutting down <laughs> we just yeah we just made it out and then every that's where the evolution comes in everything changed but um the impact from that trip really led to not just the starting point for the collection but also how it evolved as we started working with our customers virtually for the first time ever so um i know in in spring 21 it was one of the first seasons where we brought a ton of kids into our office and we got to paint and draw with them and we wanted to do that again um and so we leveraged our inspiration from that trip to come up with programs to do virtually yeah, yeah. I, you know, I think for me, what this collection, with what this collection um, is filled with, is the human spirit. Just the way that um, the Italians really sang their humanity and. Um, demonstrated the human spirit that really leveraged and influenced our co-creation with our children, um, as well as how we showed up for one another. And so um, the ingenuity, the despite it all, we're going to do what is most important, and we're going to bring in the voices of, of, you know, of the children, the voices of each other, so that we can make each other bigger, better, stronger, more united, and nothing is going to get in our way. And that's exactly what um, what this this collection is all about. And so, all of the names. I'd love to begin with showing you um, our first style here. The Caramella is one that just carries the story of that evolution so well. It's um, our new whimsical Mary Jane, which we always make sure that we have a whimsical Mary Jane. Um, you know, Pio Pio has been in our line um, for a long time and is such a strong story behind it um, and personal story for Mitzi. And Caramella has a really strong story too. Um, so like Mitzi was talking about with the singing and the embracing and just supporting and showing love and support um, for one another. In Italy, they came out and they sang on their balconies. And in the US, we drew hearts and rainbows and shared signs to our first responders. And um, something that we found um, randomly when we were at the subway waiting to go to MECAM for our train to come, um, was this wallpaper that had handwritten uh, print on it. And when you read closer, it was all of these little love notes to people, what things that you loved, loving originality, loving a laugh, loving just the simple things. Um, and we we were so inspired by that. Like we knew that we needed to incorporate that, that love and that feeling. And um, one of the things we did in our co-creation was writing stories with children. And another thing that we did was show and tells of their favorite things. And um, there was this one little girl and she had her little heart stuffy that she loved. And then in the background, she had this painting that she had done a long time ago of a little hand-drawn heart. Um, and so we took that, we took her little lovey and we took her little hand-drawn heart 
and that kind of craft spirit. And then we took some of the quotes from the stories that we wrote with the kids about their favorite day. And all of that went into Caramella. So when you see the little heart on the on the toe and those little tiny hand tag stitches, like that references back to that hand drawn, hand done painting of hers. So one foot says our best day begins at home. And the second one says, uh, the clouds with cute eyes. And um, this is foretelling because it's also a major influence for our slipper line too. Yes. yes, we're so excited for you guys to see our slippers. They're not here yet, but they'll be here soon and they are absolutely adorable. And so we did two, two really beautiful colors of Caramella. Um, one is such an easy neutral. It's in this really soft vintage pink, which was a color we saw all over in Italy with a beautiful shimmer to it. And then a champagne for the heart details. So it's so easy to pair with so much because it is just, it's such a good neutral. And then for the second one, we had a little bit of fun, um, and have this custom spotted caramel print, um, you know, it still pairs with a lot. It's great with denim. It's great with browns and khakis and rich warm tones. But then it's got a little bit of sass with a black patent heart. So definitely a little bit sassier than the other one, but still just beautiful. Yeah, I also love that this carries on that tradition of Pio Pio with the um, stitches. Uh, so that's just, that's such a really awesome detail on both of these. And it has, it's, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mitzi, because it also, it has all the same fit and comfort char comfort characteristics of our P.O.P.O. PO as well. So um, it's in leather with leather lining and the padded heel. Um, the only thing that we, we really changed this season is um, we made our footbeds removable and we now offer cut to size replacement footbeds as well as a thinner footbed. Um, and that thinner footbed allows you to customize the fit. So if you have a child with a wide foot or a child with a narrow foot, those thinner cut to size footbeds, you can either layer it on top or underneath the original, or you can take the for narrow feet, or you can take the original out and put the thinner one in for wide feet. Or if you have a, a high arch that makes your instep sit up a little higher, it just really allows you to customize at home. So um, with, mm -hmm. yeah, I love that. And I, you know, if you're wearing, if your child, um, uses a brace, um, this allows for our products to be highly adaptive. And so, um, we took that into consideration when, when creating, um, our footbeds and just the whole concept of just taking a step back and figuring out how we can make our shoes more accessible to everyone. So, um, yeah, so Emily, thank you for bringing that forward. And I, um, I love this. It's just such an easy way to um, help take the guessing out of whether or not your child um, has outgrown the shoes or if they're they've got enough wiggle room, this footbed will also be an ideal way of measuring. Yeah. And all of our cues this season. So everything on our honeycomb, on our dancer, on our jumper, on our cycle, um, they all have the removable footbeds with those fit marks and that ability to leverage those cut to size footbeds for customization. Yeah. Um, Emily, I think we should also talk about, just in the spirit of, of Italy, um, let's talk about Aria. Yeah, so Aria, um, oh gosh, Aria. So we had a moment when we were in Italy, we made it to the Domo and it was um, entirely unplanned. We just wanted to make sure we got to the Domo and we happened to be there right at sunset, um, which was the, perfect time to be on top of the Domo watching the sunset over Milan and um, Ame Maria was playing over a loud speaker and it was just so surreal. I think it was just you and I up there. There weren't a lot yeah. of people 
And we just kind of sat and listened to the song. And I used to work in opera. So it was just even more, I don't sing by any means, but I worked in opera. Um, It was even more um, special and touching. There was just like a romance about it that I think you can only experience in Italy. And so Aria, and so Aria is, she's our romance shoe. She's got a little sparkle. She's so simple and comfortable and um, a little dressy, but then she's got that sweet little romance in the back with the bow um, yeah. that's done in a really sweet suede and the velvet um, elastic. So. Um, that velvet elastic is so soft, but again, it just adds that little bit of touch of soft romance. Yeah, no, Emily, I think um, I think you captured it here. Just all of the the sentiment and emotion that you experienced at sunset on the domo is all poured in through the materials that you've chose to design this shoe, the soft touches. Um, and yeah, the velvet is so, so beautiful, luxe and really soft. It's a perfect special occasion. And it's also a perfect just shoe to, to be comfortable in, to play and to experience. And I love that this too has that removable foot bed. And it still has those little notes from the kids in there too. So yes, yes, yes. Line. Yeah, yeah. So it's all just interwoven. Our relationship and experience with Milan and how that intersects and is interwoven with um, our time with the children as we co-created these um the collection and the the really tapping into what it is that they wanted, what they loved, what tickled them. Um, yeah, especially during this time during lockdown, like it, it's just so, so meaningful. Yeah, the, the kids and also we spent, we also did a workshop with parents and we focused with parents on value and can value and what it was that they needed and how we could help how we could help them and the biggest thing that came up was connection um which i thought was so great that after we then did the workshop with the kids because that was a way for us to connect with the kids and have the kids connect with each other and um and then tie that into the shoes so that every shoe that everyone gets this year has that little bit of connection and built into it Yeah, I also um, appreciated that, you know, as a company, this need for connection, this need for resources, this need to, um, to have a trusted partner to connect with, um, we, we we decided to take a stand and we created um our co-creation uh facebook page to resource parents and um it has just been a lifeline for us because we use this uh this facebook page to get ideas to um really hear the voices of our customers and um, to also allow them to interact to interact with one another, um, so that that was another thing that emerged during this time. Let's talk about this style, Emily. Ah, Rush. So Rush is part of our Rejoy collection, which we launched in spring of twenty one. It's our uh, it's one of our baby collections. It's um, our sustainable, eco-friendly. We utilize recycled materials throughout the line in as many components as possible. So the uppers, the lining, 
Um, I'm really excited because we're working on launching a circular program with our linings where our waste gets sent back to the material supplier and they grind it up and then it's used in upper materials. So um, trying as many ways as we can to touch as much of the shoe in the process. Um, but Rush um, is a beautiful, comfortable high top. Um, which for me is just essential in the fall to have, um, but fun and fashionable. And um, gosh, we had a little boy who wanted shoes he could run fast in. And the great thing about high tops is they give a little bit more ankle support because they come up a little bit higher. And this one in particular is just incredibly lightweight and flexible and has the wiggle room that you need for your toes to spread properly as you're running. So um, this was for him. This was his shoe he could run fast in. And we, oh, we built so much into this shoe. We wanted kids to be able to learn how to tell left from right. So one foot has a star and one foot has a circle. I love that. I love that one has a circle. That's the right foot. And then the left foot has the, the star. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is so much thoughtfulness in this shoe. And I love that you pointed out that a high top really does provide a little more ankle support. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it goes up a little higher, it stabilizes the ankle so that there's more performance um, when running fast. And I love that you put the map here um, on the star. Yes, when we were in Milan, we saw all these beautiful old vintage maps. Um, and then when, again, when we were working with the kids, um, several of them had maps in the background. Um, and because we had they been loved maps. maps, they loved maps. And so we just, we wanted to, Oh, we wanted to bring our own brand history and the travel and the maps and um, and kind of the nostalgia and, and missing of the traveling that people were having at that time too into the shoes. So we we developed this really sweet little travel stamp map print and it's throughout the whole collection on footbeds and it's on rush on the um, on the stars. It's just it's really fun and it has our like our inspiration date on it. There's a little passport stamp from Milan and a passport stamp for Livy and Luca. Um, it's really fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, look at that. There's the passport stamp for Livy and Luca. <laughs> all of our, we have a brand new uniform collection this fall that just launched and all of our uniform shoes, um, the Libra and the Amica, I have that on their footbeds and talk about something that was really built for parents. Um, what I love most about our new uniform collection is it's vegan. Even though they look like leather, they're vegan. Um, and they're, they've got a really high abrasion resistance and they are machine washable. So easy care, you just take the insole out and then wash it in a garment bag um, on, in cold water and let air dry. But just super easy maintenance for school shoes. So what I really appreciate too is just the, um, the ability to make something that is so classic in style. Like we've got the vintage buckle, but it's actually faux. Um, and uh, using such innovative materials. So it's a classic, it's a very, um, it's a workhorse of a shoe. And yet the classic ones, they, well, you couldn't wash them um, in the washer. And you certainly, you know, they're they're, they were really like heavy stiff. Yeah, these are incredibly lightweight and flexible. And um, they also too, we've got so many little details. So the, the one that you're just holding up, the T-strap, our um, Amica, you'll notice on the front, instead of just keeping with the traditional cutouts, it's also got that sweet little heart that mimics the wingtip stitch on the front. Um, so just a slight nod back to our co-creation and back to Italy. And then on Libra, 
the little cutouts for the buckle. Um, instead of regular dots, they're in um, a shape that mimics the windows from the domo. So it's a little hard to see. Oh, you can see it in the center of the wingtip there. Again, it's just really subtle, but it's those tiny little details that help it um, give, gives it something unique and it gives it the touch of that story. And it gives it a touch of absolute love. Like I, I think it is really important that um, we bring forward how detailed, how considerate, um, and how influential travel storytelling, the voices of children are incorporated into the designs. Like the heart. I just, I love that you shared that because also as kids are going back to school, you know, mm -hmm. it's that heart of home. It's that, it's, 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 it's just for them. Um, it's, it's that connection that, you know, to their families that we are infusing into this design as they, toddle off to school. So, so the power of design and the power of like intentional, um, detail is, is so crucial at, here at Livy and Luca and so symbolic. And I love like the, the uniform colors, the Navy and the Mocha are beautiful, but I will say the red Libra is just for me, that's like that quintessential classic little red Mary Jane. Um, exactly. She's, just, she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. I absolutely love the gold buckle and, you know, gold buckles are trending. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, not that that, you know, it's just, again, when you're paying attention to many resources, one of them that we will always pay attention to too is, is what, what's the globe saying? What's the world saying about fashion? And of course we will, in this particular case, always, um, you know, consider it, but it's, it's, it's gotta be very tasteful, which it, it is here. And um, so well done, well played. And do you wanna share, um, do you wanna share a Luno for our boy moms? Yes. So it was really important to us too that we got a great vegan um, shoe in for boy as well. I'm a boy mom, so it's it's very important to me that we have great shoes for our little boys. So um, we have uniform colors, but we also have the one that Mitzi's showing, which is my. It's stunning. It has a soft taupe vegan suede, and then um, a warm gray on the straps and the toe. Um, again, this is machine washable. It's in that high abrasion resistance. So like boys in particular love to drag their feet and scrape them on concrete. And um, so it was really important that we used these high abrasion materials for them um, and they play hard. So being machine washable is fantastic. And then these, I'm picking and I up. Love the, I love the, um, the oh. inside of this one, just yeah. that little pop of color. They've got the matte print as well and a really great breathable mesh lining. Um, and that double strap is just, again, it's such a classic silhouette and it's so easy for kids to get on and off. Yeah. Um, and I love the the uniform style as well. It's, um, it's so interesting and fun and, um, you know, as far as uniform shoes go, I don't think you can get much cuter and much mm. more functional than this. And still honoring that this is highly flexible, weighs nothing. And there is this pop of adventure on the inside with the map. Um, yes, and just this small little, little detail here to still keep it classic, but make it a little interesting. Mm -hmm. And it also comes in black. I'll show that off. Yeah, the black's, the black's a really great dress shoe too. You could definitely dress that up. 
Um, the black we kept all solid, but on the mocha, you'll see it still has that texture breakup too, which is really nice on the unicorn shoe, um, just to give it a little bit more interest. Yeah, there's the different textures. You know, I, this is a bring back. Um, and uh, there was a request uh, to have us answer what is the appeal? What is the magic behind Prim? Mm. I think that this shoe, um, what makes it magical are the cutouts and how they follow the, the T strap and yeah and just keeping the palette very neutral and um and functional because it comes over the top here and with the honey honeycomb sole so it's really just a very um highly functional um durable T-strap Mary Jane, which is what we do really well um, with these awesome laser cutouts. So it's the crispness of, of the laser work as well. That would be my guess for its success. I, I would also say too, one of the th things about Prim that I really love is the material that's used on that caramel colorway so um it's not a napa leather like a lot of the other leathers are that we use it's a full grain waxed leather and it just wears beautifully it's one of those leathers that gets better with age um so like when you handle it it can it absorbs like the oils from your hands and it's um it just ages really beautifully and it's got a lot of luster and um, two kind of two-tone depth to it. So it just, it's a very rich, beautiful um, leather. And I also, Mitzi, should we touch on the fact that it's Prim Classic now and Rouge Classic? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things that we've been doing is um, we spent a lot of time working with industry experts on our scaling of our sizing. So we really held true our ruche fit, um, but we scaled our shoes before to a European scaling and we shifted it over to US. And essentially just what that means is there's a little bit more difference between each size and our larger sizes um, run larger now, um, but more in line with other USA brands. So much closer, depending on what you wear in other brands, we're gonna align a lot more closely um, to that. But all the fit characteristics that you guys love about Rouge are still there. It's still got the wider toe box. Um, it still has that flexibility. We, we maintained all of that. We really just adjusted the scaling and then, um, we took advantage of reopening up the tooling and did build in that removable footbed that we talked about. And then do you want to show the bottom? Yes. The easiest way to know, um, if you're that are with our new shoes. So all of our new shoes, our logo on the bottom is our signature orange color. So that's on all of our dancer, all of our honeycomb shoes now is that fun branded orange um, logo, but it's also an easy way, you know, if you've back stocked on old Roosh and you have them in your closet for as your kids get older, and then you've got some of the new ones coming in and you want to know which one was the classic and which one is the new, that's going to be your easiest way to tell. Um, all of our new honeycombs have that orange logo on them. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. So I love, love links. I will tell you, we have um, a great gray on our website right now too for boy and my son wears, well, actually he wears the blue, he wears the Egyptian blue color, but um, he wears pretty much nothing but that shoe because he can get it on and off so easy on his own. Um, and again, lightweight, incredibly flexible, 
They're made in a strobel construction. Well, essentially strobel is if you think of it as like the upper being a sock when it's put onto the last. So um, the upper and the strobel board, which is really, it's more like a cloth. It's really lightweight and flexible is um, stitched together and then it's lasted over the last. So that eliminates the need for a lasting board. And those boards oftentimes are what makes you stiff. So it's just a very flexible construction. Also, because this shoe is a fly knit, those uppers, yeah, you can see it there. You can see the little stitching. Um, so that's that center um, is the strobel board, which is just a non-woven cloth. And then it's stitched to the upper before it's lasted. And then um, with the fly knit, the other great thing about that is it's all knitted to pattern. So there's no cutting waste. Um, so even though Lynx is not part of our Rejoy collection, kind of on every single shoe that we do, we're always considering what we can, what we can do and what we can, yeah. Um, but then in the fly knit upper too, it's just, it's breathable, it's stretchy, it's so easy to get on and off, it molds to your foot. It's got that fun elastic strap, but um, the two colors that Mitzi was holding up, they're just so fun for this fall. One is a, a gold metallic. So it's a really easy kind of neutral beige base with metallic thread, which gives it that gold look and the gold elastic. And on that- Well, and if you like sparkle, I don't know if you could see it here, but we'll have a picture. I, I will try. It looks like there's like little tiny, mm -hmm diamonds like there's just this there's there's like a lot of shimmer um even though it's super neutral so and, sweet and that color i mean you're going to be able to wear that with literally anything because metallic mixing is a trend so if you want to wear it with grays and silvers or rose golds or if you want to have it casual that shoe looks great with pants and shorts and dresses um, really, you can pair that colorway with pretty much anything. It's talk about versatility. Yeah, no, it's great. It's fantastic. And I love, um, I love the, the softness around the entry here. Um, it's just, it's really soft mm -hmm. in case that was a concern. You know, some parents, they, this is like a new construction. Um, this really is soft at the heel counter and, uh, so it won't cause that, that, you know, blistery, um, rubbing. Mm. Yeah. It's a really great shoe. And then the other one that you were holding up, um, that one is an ombre. So it starts, it's like you dipped your toe in pink and it slowly fades to this really pretty, like salmon and sunshine yellow. So um, kind of like early back to school, wear it right now, like so much fun um, with the bright white outsole and the pink elastic. I mean, it's, I, I would wear a shoe that color, I think. Oh yeah, I'd wear either one. I mean, really look at this. There's just, there's the neutral and then there's let's go dip our foot in the sunshine. Hmm. And this was like, I'm all gold. I'm I'm metallic. I'm just <laughs> ready for all all royal endeavors. <laughs> <laughs>